Okay, we've plugged in the microphone to input number one on that panel back there. It's got 32 microphone inputs. Do you see those three pin plugs? Those are microphone inputs. And then below it, it's got two groups of six, QA and QB, which means that I could, from the console, send one headset mix and call it QA for, let's say, the vocalist who, I don't want to hear the horns, I need to hear the bass and the piano, and not too loud drums, but I need enough drums to get time, but I need pitch. I don't need to hear the horn backgrounds. And the rhythm section would say, well, I have to hear everybody because they need to hear the vocalist and the horns because the drums usually have a distinct part in what the vocalist is doing and then also a distinct part in what the horns are doing. You might want to be able to put out four different headset mixes. Well, here we've got the ability to put out two different headset mixes. That panel allows us to do that because what we're doing is we're sending a headset mix to amplifier number one, and then the output of that amplifier number one comes, well, instead of uh, going to speakers, they're going to those plugs over there for headsets. They're wired in such a way that if I have six plugs like that, the wire is coming into this plug, and then this plug is wired to this one, to this one, to this one, to this one, and to that one. So. Whatever is here is on all of these. So in other words, I could then say, okay, I have headset A for the horn section, let's just say, and I've got six different plugs that I can put long extensions in and come down here with a box at the end of that that might have four or five or six headset plugs in them. So that one plug coming down here feeding this box could feed six different headsets. Then I could put another plug in plug number two of QA send and bring it over here and have six more headsets over here. Then we go to headset B fed by another amplifier that comes from the console. The console says, okay, now here's QB and it goes to this amplifier number two. Then amplifier number two comes to QB on the headsets, which you're looking at right there, QB, and it's got six possible plugs that we can put six possible extension boxes with six in each. Another thing that you run into with headsets, which is you get a lot of the people that say, I want to bring my own headsets, you know. Okay, well, they bring their own headsets, but the impedance of their headsets is different than the impedance of your headsets, and suddenly we have mixed matching impedances. It takes the level away from all of the other headsets that are plugged in, and your amplifier is pushing too hard. It starts to get hot, and, and yet they still want to bring their you know, I can plug mine in and it works. Oh, I got my new thing, man. It's wireless and it goes, you know. Hopefully you can say, no, our headsets work good. Uh, well, I just want one with the one side because my, I know I need a headset that only has one side because the way the trombone works, there's something here. I can't even put my horn against my collar to play. I have to put my horn on my neck because that's the angle I'm accustomed to. Even the thickness of this collar affects this. So you can imagine a headset on this side and put it, you know, couldn't play. So I have to take headsets and put them around the back and just use the one side. They also have headsets that are just one-sided. And a lot of people would want to say, well, I only want to listen to what's happening from the control room with one side because I want to hear my horn acoustically. I want to hear what I'm playing with this ear here, not after it goes and you decide what level you should give me. They have a lot of different preferences that you're going to have to meet, you know.